What is good, you guys? I am back today with another tutorial, and this is something that you guys have been asking about for a while. You've been asking me how to do old school chops on the new MPCX. Well, I am going to show you guys that today. I had a few problems with the video, but I got it done. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to the tutorial. Bolo! Side note, there's a lot of things going on. My camera's dead. My other camera is dead. And my phone is charging right now. So I hope you can see what I'm doing over here on the MP. But if not, just try to follow on the screen. I'm going to try to talk my way through this mess. But I want to do this video because if I don't do it now, I won't have time to do it. So first thing we got to do is we got to find a sample, which I found a sample. We just take the sample and swing it onto a pad. Okay, so we like that sample. You know, when you swing onto the pad, it's going to play. If you want to stop it, just press the stop button twice. So we like that sample. Now we have to edit the sample. There's two ways to edit. You can click on this edit button right here, or you can just press edit sample right here on the MP, and it'll take you to it. Okay, now we have to chop the sample. We can press chop right here, or we can go onto the MP, press trim, and then press trim again, and it takes us into the chop mode. Now we're in chop mode, we just press the pads that we want to chop it to. So we add the first slice on this pad, second slice on this pad, third slice on this pad, and so forth and so on. I'm going to do like four to eight slices, just to do something really quick. We're going to add a slice, so we're going to click on the pad. So I sliced that real crazy. So, <laughs> but it's cool. And the good thing about this is you can adjust these slices in here. So you can move this back and forth. You can do whatever you have to do to make sure the slice is right on. I'm just doing this real fast just for tutorial purposes. So we like the slices. What we have to do now is we have to save it into a program. So the easiest way to do this is to go into your MPCX, click Shift, and then go to Convert. So... We're going to convert it into a new drum program using slices, non-destructive. We want to make sure that we can go back and edit it. So we're going to press do it. And then we're going to go back to the main screen. Okay. Now on our main screen, we have the first program right here, which is cool. But we want to use the program with slices. So all we have to do is click this and go right here. Or on your MP, just press on the screen and just move it like this. That's it. And just select it. So now we have our program with the slices in it. So we have something that we like. So now we can tap the uh, tempo. Somewhere around there, but 42.52, which I like to leave it at even numbers. So we're going to just make a quick loop. Um, let's do this at four bars right now, it's real fast. And then let's make a loop. So now let's play it back. And 
And it's a little off, but hey, just for tutorial purposes. Now that you've done that, now you can add drums to it. And you know I'm going to add some drums to it. So let me go ahead and go to some of my drum programs. I got them saved into NPC documents. I made a whole drum program, Bolo Trap Burner Kit. Let's add that. Let's go to track two. And let's select that. It's kind of hard because it has a delay because it's recording uh, from the screen. So I'm going to try to do this as best as possible. So let's add a kick. And then uh, let's try to add a bass. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Please turn on those post notifications and please leave me a comment. Let me know if I'm doing something good. And as always, peace out.